there is a public entity um, that I'm not going to name. It's a very uh, large entity, a utility company. And the client is the mother of a boy who is driving a pickup truck and his pickup truck veered out in the rain and ran into a three telephone poles on which sat um, transformers. And when the vehicle hit the telephone poles, the transformers fell down and landed on the hood of the, or rather the, the cab of the truck and crushed him to death. And so the thoughts were, and the statements that I heard were, boy, that person was at the wrong place at the wrong time. He must have been speeding, et cetera. And my question is, why did those telephone poles look like they exploded? Why did they crumble? Why did the transformers not uh, stay up? What happened? It took a year, but we dug and dug and dug, and I saw documents that said these wooden uh, telephone poles are treated every few years, I think every seven or 15 years, they're treated and there are these um, borings that are placed into the poles and that stops, um, that stops termites from destroying the inside of the poles. And I had the documents saying who treated them, uh, when it was done, the exact date, et cetera. So it didn't make sense that these poles fell down um, and killed this boy or rather the transformers and he wasn't speeding. I mean, that was a thought that he was speeding and ran into these poles. And so his mother was just, you know, devastated, heartbroken. And she came to us kind of in a fog, traumatized. And so we dug and dug and dug and dug. And something didn't make sense. And that's those are the cases I love. Something didn't make sense. And so we kept digging. And I got an expert, a wood expert from upstate New York, and he came out and I went with him and we inspected the poles and the poles are 30 years old. There were four borings as opposed to 16 borings in the poles and the poles were completely um, hollow. They were ready to fall. It would have been someone else if it hadn't been this boy. There was no reason for this to happen. There were lies. This utility company, all the paperwork were lies. The borings never happened. And so what it did was it justified in the mother's mind, I mean, her son, there's no amount of money, and there was a lot of money that was paid in that case, but there's no amount of money that can bring her son back. But she was she felt vindicated that she she came to us. We went after this company. We figured out what happened. It wasn't her son's fault. It shouldn't have happened. And we were able to give her a little bit of peace that she actually took this to the end. Mm -hmm.